Hi everyone. Today we're going to be uh, talking about how to install uh, Nick Collection uh, 2012 so you can use Silver Effects and any of the other applications uh, included in that from 2012. Uh, that's the free version that was created by Google and it's still available for download. The problem is with Big Sur, which is the latest version of Mac OS, it will not install. It will give you an error saying that you don't have the right version and it won't go any further and cancel it. Um, I did a lot of research on this. There's some convoluted way of getting it installed if you already have it installed on another machine. I found an easy solution for this. It just requires a little bit of typing and we get it installed. By the way, I still have not installed it. So we're gonna do this now and I already tested a little bit so it does work. So here we go, okay? So first thing we need to do is make sure that we're recording. And we are. So, we start by downloading the software, and it's easy enough to get. Uh, you can do a search for it. It's in nickcollection.dxo.com, and you look for the 2012 version, which is the free version, and this is the one that they, the only one that's provided that's free. And it's really undoubt, uh, unlikely that they will ever fix this bug. Uh, it is free. Uh, they want you to buy the $150 version of it and there is some changes and there's been some improvements uh, personally I don't think it's enough to justify the 150 but if you want to get the uh, the full version go right ahead so here you would just simply put in your email address answer a math problem a plus three and you submit it once you submit it you will get an email the email will give you a link to either the Windows or the Mac version. Uh, since we're talking about I have a Mac and this is the one that's having an issue installing it, you would click on the Mac version and it starts the download. Okay. Once it's been downloaded, this is the second time I've downloaded it, you need to put it in a nice place that you can find it. Okay. Um, let me pause this download okay so in my case I saved it I have a folder for all my uh, uh, software on a remote drive and it's called Nick put it in there and it's a DMG file which is just basically a, uh, a disk image double click on that and you will end up with a folder I mean a hard drive that says Nick collection on it Okay, so to get this working, first thing you need to do is open up a terminal session. Okay, the easy at that location, the easiest way I found to do that is to simply go right click, new terminal, add folder. Okay, this will open up this little window and it will give you the ability to launch the program. Okay. Now I forgot to say that if you try launching the program after doing this, this is the error that you get. That it requires Mac OS 10.7 or newer. Okay, and if you hit OK, it's just going to close out. The issue is that uh, Big Sur uh, will report either two different OS version, either uh, OS version 11 or OS version 20.7. 17 I want to say I could be wrong on that one but when this launches it reports back 11 and it says we can only install 10 or higher but not 11 so we're going to remedy that and there's a command line to do that okay so here's the command line and I am let's see by any chance ah there it is it actually saved the um the actual command line which is system underscore version underscore compat equals one space open space quotation mark nick space collection dot app close 
quotation mark. The reason we need the quotation marks is because there's a space in the program fit in the program file. Once you hit enter, you notice that now it does not come up with the error message. You have the wrong version. So we go and continue and we'll accept the terms and agreements. Uh, connect to the following host application, Adobe Photoshop 2021. Let me see if I have, if I can add Lightroom. This is going to be a Adobe Lightroom classic. And I'm not sure that's going to be working or not, but we're going to try. Continue. It's going to specify the collection, how much. Install. It's going to ask for my your administrative password and hopefully oh. this happens when you have a very long password and you try to type fast so here we're going to go as it installs uh, little by little and we patiently wait and the installation was successful close and done you can now close the terminal window and let's test it. Let's test uh, Photoshop first. Let's do Photoshop. See, they're all in there. So you can actually just launch it from here. My, my thing is Silver FX Pro. So the application is already there. Let's see Adobe Photoshop. Ding, 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 ding. Let's close that. Okay. And you see here, uh, we have all the different tools, the events. Uh, and so, uh, and Silver Effects Pro. Okay. So let's just uh, open up this one right here and let's, let's see we can edit it what should do that is here uh, let's see how did it go filter Nick collection and we go into Silver FX Pro. And, and this here, they're trying to get you to buy to later. Just install the, the, the one that it has. And where we have it working perfectly fine. Hmm. I actually like what it just did to that photo may have to come revisit this one. I never planned to do that one in black and white, but I sort of like it nice and foreboding. Okay, now let's try close down Photoshop. And let's try Lightroom. And remember, I haven't done this before on this machine, so let's see how it works. Ah, oh, yes, yes, of course. And let me go back to the library. And let's pick a, it's already black and white. I want to pick a color version. Okay, let's just do that one. Okay, well, maybe not the one of the Osprey taking a, going on a bathroom break in the middle of the air. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try this one. See, before I used to be able to go to edit in, uh, edit in another application. See if it gives me that preferences. Okay, so let's not do it that way. Let's see, this one. Ah, we. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so at this point I cannot launch it from within um, I used to be able to if I'm not mistaken I'll have to check out my other computer so let's do a little pause here and see if I can remedy this so it can actually work through Lightroom instead of Photoshop Okay, uh, now we're back. Um, let's take care of this issue of being able to right click and doing edit in. And you see I already added Silver Effects Pro, but this is actually incorrect. So we have to go to Lightroom Classic, Preferences. We'll open up the nice little window, External Editors, and Silver Effects Pro 2, I have already selected it, uh, Format TIFF. Uh, sRGB 16-bit this defaults to 8 you want to change it to 16 resolution is to 40 compression is none okay then after we put this information and choose silver effects pro we need to save current setting as a new preset and we're gonna give it a name silver effects pro 2 if you want to and it will create it and then we can do another one choose uh, applications Nick collections let's say uh, we do color effects pro or Revenza. I normally don't use any of these things uh, let's try define two okay choose okay 16 bit 240 no compression and here we go and after we chose that, we save current setting as a new preset. And in this case, it's going to be called define. All right, let's spell it like they do. Two. And we can create. Okay, if I created two of them, you can go down the list for each of the applications. The only one that you shouldn't do is... the I believe it's the HDR effect pro and let me double check that uh, do not want that HDR effect pro 2 that does not handle in this situation you do not want to add it in there okay uh, and that is it because I've chosen those two that's the only ones I'm interested in right now but you can add as many as you like you can close that and now when you go edit you can edit in uh, you see edit in define two or silver effects pro okay and there you have it so now you can go into define two edit a copy edit yes And it's analyzing and it's going to take its time and and now we can use all of the features of the uh, Nick collection okay and don't put your elbow on the keyboard so I hope that was helpful if you have any questions or have any problems installing uh, Nick collection on your um, Mac Big Sur uh, OS, please leave a message down below and I will do my best to help you out with it, okay? I hope this was very helpful. Please like and subscribe and until next time, thank you.